Hey everybody, welcome to another Using Emacs. Um, we're going to take a quick look at a package that I just recently found. Um, it was mentioned on Reddit, you can see here, um, U4E Conversation. Um, and here it is hosted up on its GitLab page with some uh, you know, some information about it. Um, it's a package that looks really cool, and if you use Mu4E, you should definitely check it out. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna work in my workflow or not. I won't know that for a while. I'll explain why as we move along. Um, but let's take a look. So, um, so basically, installing it is pretty simple. Um, you know, just the usual use package, ensure true, not a big deal. And when you go into Mu4E, and I've just got that bound to control Z, and I have control Z bound to my own little key map and so you know here we got origami but I really should do a video on that council AG uh, you know just a couple other things not, not nothing big here uh, but anyway um, um, if you use just regular Mu4E one of the things you'll have like if I jump to the Zimbox if you do you know capital W um, that's like uh, let's see control H K to describe key um, and that's bound to um, uh, include related for headers and so that's like kind of helps out the threading a little bit i usually have it collapse but it doesn't really fully do the threading um and new free threading for conversations and, and new free is all about that so let me just get out of here let me clean this up a little bit i'm going to do a search for natan uh, my son and we just made this fake thread here and for some reason like the, the threading doesn't seem to work in here or rather the uh, the related thing doesn't seem to work in here i don't i don't really know why I'm, I'm not that concerned about it though um, but a little thread and normally if you're reading the emails you know you'll see you know we, we get this back and forth and depending like sometimes when you're in um, when you're in the mu free headers you'll see it kind of go you know like diagonally like the related threads but it's, it's not a hundred percent um, and you know you can read this or whatever and you, you see the normal thing like, like here if I do a hit the, uh, the hash symbol, it hides and then shows the, uh, this related content, you know, so, uh, yeah, you know, hide it, show it. All right, so that's also helpful with threading to see the context. But, but here's the new 4 e uh, conversation. So I'm just going to run it on this. And you, what you'll notice here is if I do control C and each time, it's moving me between the messages in the thread and it's showing you know all of it in this one this little one window here. You'll see here, Control C can P, Control C N, and it has all of the thread right here in this one um, you know in this one buffer, if you would. And that's pretty cool. Um, another thing that's really cool about that, besides that Control C N and Control C P to navigate, is if I hit V, it goes into this org mode type thing. And so you see here, I'm, I'm basically in an org mode buffer where each message is you know an org mode thing so i can say here if i go like org show hide um you know cycle of visibility whatever you know i can do all the org mode goodness here tab untab whatever um and that's pretty cool the um the only thing that i think i don't like about this is let me actually do control sh to control xh to mark all of this copy it go into another buffer paste it just go into org mode here. You know, if what I don't like about this is, um, like to me, we see how it does one indentation for that first response, and then two for the next one. And I kind of think I prefer it, you know, like this. Um, you know, I won't go through all of them. Or maybe I will. I don't know. Yeah, there's one more. I think I prefer it like this. Like if I were to do this. Um, you know, like, so these are, you know, these are the messages here and each one is collapsed or like maybe an enhancement would be like, have it like this with a little part of the blurb. I, I don't know. Uh, like, like so to me, like these are all part of the thread. It's not sub, 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 but that's just my own personal preference. Um, but to go back to the, um, new for buffer, it's still pretty cool to, you know, to have this in org mode with all the org mode goodness here. And then I can go to, you know, just V to, um, capital V to toggle back to this, uh, other mode. Um, now that's pretty much it. It's a really cool package. And if you look over here, on the um, 
yeah, here, if you just set, you know, mu, uh, set Q, uh, mu, view for, mu for E, view function to the mu for E conversation, you'll get this behavior automatically. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this or not uh, long term, um, even though it is really cool. And the reason I don't know this is because um, we just entered the summer and so I'm not really going to get in. I, I use mu for E for my work email and I use Gmail for my personal email. And I might start using Emacs and mu for E for my personal email as well over the summer. Um, now that I have my Emacs email workflow working the way I like, I may very well do that. I, I still have a couple of issues with, um, you know, when I read my email and I archive it, it, it doesn't seem to sync up in all locations between work and home and my laptop and the server. And I'm a little concerned over that. I, I really want to figure that out, but that's not really, um, that's not an Emacs thing. That's really um, an MD sync thing or whatever it is I'm using now to, to sync my emails. Um, so anyway, again, I'm not positive um, because I just don't have threads going on. I had to manufacture this thread for the video um, because I just the, the volume of emails over the summer is you know pretty slow in terms of threaded stuff. Um, so I might just have to sit on this until August or September when the emails start flowing again and then see if I like it or if I switch over um, my Gmail to use Emacs for that. But in the meantime, it is really, really cool. So I would say, you know, check it out. Uh, post on the comments if you like it. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So uh, enjoy.